taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste buds. Hold on, before you say hello. Before you introduce the show, look at me, because you're beautiful, and I love you. Hold on, wait till this light goes on. There it is. Ready? Mm -hmm. Maybe get you with the sign. We got new signage. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Smile, Joey. There you go, right there. Right there. From what I understand, that's an NFT. That's an NFT. From what I understand. That's an NFT. That's, if you, if you want to know what it is, that's the original NFT buds. right there. Taste buddies. What's up? You'll sign this. I'll we'll sign sell it, it as an NFT. I'll sign it as an NFT. Highest SF bidder. For work. That's it. Not safe. Thing. What the? What is going on in this world? Mm -hmm. I'm not I saying know. I won't cash we, in we on it. We need to get in on it. We need to get in on <laughs> yeah, it. I don't know. Yeah. What's going on so we understand so we can get in on it? Taste Buddies, I'll tell you what's going on today. I'm Joe. I'm Sal. Yeah, I'm Sal. Uh, and we're going to be discussing, as you know from the title, as you point out to us every week, that we say the title even though you can see the title. Uh, what do you want from me, people? It's free. You know what I mean? It's oh, free. yeah, it's free. <laughs> Fruit yeah. Loops. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fruit Loops versus Coco Pebbles. They don't know who's taking what, though. Yeah. They don't know who's taking what. Uh yeah, it is, it's a free podcast. We hope you're enjoying it. But comments, the people, the love, the 99% of love, it's awesome. It's beautiful. People Ooh. who are like, oh, there's too many ads and it's too short. I mean, you can't on that. <laughs> you know, like it's a free thing. We get together for your enjoyment. Skip it's through the free. ads. They, skip through the ads. Free. You can skip. Pimp puts the ads dead center. If you so choose, we try to make, we, we even try to make the ads a little entertaining so it's not just like, yeah. you know, but you could just hit a button and resolve your issue in one second. Yes, and 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 and, and we always intended for this thing to be like thirty to forty-five, and we go forty-five to sixty. I know, I so, know. But sometimes when we get, we give like a thirty-six minute episode, people raise an eyebrow. I know. And Hulu, they do that. Hulu, this is our new artwork by the great Ted Muns. 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 Apologize to Ted directly because we don't want to mess the pronunciation of his last name up, but it's M U N Z. If you watch podcasts, especially comedy ones, especially like uh, the ones that are popular, I think everyone has uh, one of these beautiful pieces, and now we, we get to join that club, so thank you so much, Ted. It's, it's really gorgeous. It's, like, it's gorgeous. It's, it really is like, I'm in awe of this thing. I yeah. don't know how you even begin to start to make this thing. I don't know. But uh, With tiles. But that and it's based on the artwork. Uh, lost after tiles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what, all I would know is I'd go, I need some tiles, and then I wouldn't know what to do you after think, that. You think he used to just put in, like, he used to just do grout work in bathrooms, and then he was like, I'm going to transition to... No, really, because how do you get into tiles heavy? Yeah. You know, you A don't just... A foreman came in and goes, there's something beautiful inside of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you don't get proficient in tile work without first going through a couple of bathrooms, right? Right. A couple of half baths. You know what I mean? And then you start to make your way in the half bath game, and then someone says, let me ask you a question. Can you make just a square of tile for me to hang on the wall? And then you say yes, and then you start experimenting. We're, we're trying to... Maybe chart his journey, Ted. Maybe it went. Maybe it went the other way. Maybe the foreman came in on a, a bathroom job. And the foreman goes, "Ted, I need to talk to you." And he goes, "Listen to me. You want to put the faces of your favorite podcasters in tile? You do it on your own time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't I do hire it. this guy for a job. Every time I walk into a bathroom, there's another comedian in tile on the wall. <laughs> Stop daydreaming. Yeah. This was supposed to be a floral pad, and it turned to Joey Diaz's face." <laughs> Um, let's see here. Let, let's. I want to give him a proper, uh, at least his social channel too, because yeah. this this is just like above and beyond, and we just yes, we really appreciate. this. While you look that up, I will elaborate a little bit more on our today's uh, topic. Sal and I have been kicking around the idea of a breakfast cereal episode for a while. Yeah. Sal, from the be I am going to reveal whose team is what. Is that okay? For sure. And tell them, though, because we, 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 we put one, we agree on a, the best cereal. Yeah. We, so we had to kick that to the curb. We agreed that uh, uh, cr uh, Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries is yeah. the greatest cereal of all time. At least right now, for me, it is. And it's uh, been for a while. I've never, I, I, I don't think it can be rivaled, uh, in my opinion. Uh, but so we agreed on that. So then we had to go to a second favorite cereals, which even that was kind of tough because. Second favorite obviously isn't as 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 pat you're not quite as passionate as your favorite, but you're still passionate. Uh, Sal from the jump on second favorite cereal was Fruit Loops from the beginning. 
I had to kind of keep rotating mine uh, until we found what we thought was something I felt strongly about but was also a worthy, worthy adversary, which is I said, if you're going to go fruit, I got to go chocolate. And, uh, I, you know, and both these cereals have been around since, well, for a long, well, well, Cocoa Pebbles came out, I believe, in 1971 uh, alongside Fruity Pebbles, which I also love. But again, I wanted to do chocolate versus fruit. Uh, Fruit Loops, though, have been around since the 30s, is it? Wow. Are you serious? Oh, for, 1945. Okay. Wow, 1945. Fruit Loops was given to us during the war. Yeah. What's wow. Ted's thing before we it's forget? Sorry. Ted, I guess I want to say Munns. I think it's Munns. Yeah. M-U-N-Z Mosaic, M-O-S-A-I-C. Uh, Ted Munns Mosaic Art on Instagram. And you can take a look at all of the different signage he's done for... Uh, for everything it looks like from podcasts to even Lego. So it's great work, Ted, and we appreciate you. Yeah, thank you, Ted. Uh, and thank you all for your support and the wonderful love that you're showing all of us. We really, really appreciate it. We can't believe... Uh, oh, uh, the channel, the No Press channel uh, is at 100,000... Give me some love there. ...subscribers in, in 18 short weeks. We, we, we're, we're floored. Did they send you a plaque, apparently? Apparently we're getting some, some kind of plaque. We're getting we a just, plaque. It was great just to be... Just to be, it was great just to just to make an account. <laughs> <laughs> it was great just to make a login and yeah, password. That's was. all we ever wanted, really, from this. We said let's let's shoot for the login and password, and if we get hundreds of thousands of people, great. Um, I can't believe that the uh, the 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 fruity pebble was around before I was born. The pebble, the cocoa and fruity pebble. Yes, Flintstones, Hanna Barbera. Flintstones are that's you know it's a pretty old school cartoon. You know you forget because we all grew up. Not we all, but guys our age at least, or people our age, grew up with the Flintstones. And, you know, when, when I was six, it never registered in my head that this was shot in the 60s or created in the 60s. And it was based on the Honeymooners, right? Yes. Was it not? Which I never realized as a kid, even though I liked the Honeymooners as a kid. Yeah. And when I got older, uh, and I'm talking like I was in my 30s, and I bought a Honeymooners box set. And as I was watching it, that's when it, the light bulb this went off. This feels like, yeah. Yeah, I was like, holy shit, uh, the, the, the Flintstones is based on this. Yeah. Yeah, like. It's based on the Honeymooners. And by the way, everyone knows now, Jackie Gleason canceled because he used to threaten Alice with, with violence. <laughs> and yes, I did just confuse Jackie Gleason and Ralph Crampton. <laughs> uh, they're this. Did you know that Ralph Crampton used to tell his wife that he would beat her until she landed on the moon? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, they, what they got away with? I tuned in. What they got away with? <laughs> <laughs> what they got away with back then? But it's. I not mean, like, he would be off that bus job <laughs> in a split set. It's never like, but it's. He doesn't say like, I'm going to legitimately I'm gonna hit you, you Alice. Alice. He no, there's says, a, no, but there's a very special episode where he's like, I'm going to really hurt you to the moon. <laughs> he says, he goes, you make me so bad, I would like to. How? And then she goes, you're a fat load. And then everybody laughs, laughs at him. And it's, I don't know, it's fine, right? Yeah, but it's when when, when Fred Flintstone uh, really laces into, uh, <laughs> I don't even know their names anymore. Yeah, Fred, what's, what's Fred Flintstone's Flintstone, wife's name, Wilma? Wilma. He never said Wilma? to Wilma, I'm going to punch you. No, they, the they left the violence. Yeah. When they transitioned to animation, they left out the, the threats of violence. Yeah, and so did the so did by the way so oh, yeah. did the re the movie version Cedric the Entertainer's movie version of the Honeymooners left out all of the fighting <laughs> and all that stuff. so I was like what am I watching I'm just now watching just a normal movie about couples <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with, <laughs> with these names that don't make any sense You're just watching like an African American rom com at that point <laughs> why would a guy in uh, in 2002 be named Ralph Cramden this doesn't make any sense <laughs> what names nowadays like if you saw a baby right now and I said oh this is the this is my son Hank would you be like that's a choice I think I actually think Hank is a name that you could still that that almost has like a throwback quality to oh, yeah, it. Almost like a timeless like a classic, but but yeah, like like uh I feel like it'd be weird now if you named your kid like like Joe or Bobby or so like just like one of the classic uh you know household. Well, I don't American think Joe, names. but it's like I don't even think like like it's like I don't even mean like a name that hasn't been around in a long time. I mean more of a name that just doesn't suit a baby. Oh, you know Hank I mean? doesn't suit a baby. Yes, yeah, like how do you like? There's a lot. A lot of older names seem to be in line with that. Right. Like here, Barnabas. <laughs> that would be Homer. Cool. Man, Barnabas Maud. would be an awesome name. Edith, I actually really like. I I like old fashioned names. I really do. Or older names. 
Barnabas Shutterstock is a great name. That's a great name. That's a really great. L- look at that last one, Lemuel. How do you say that? Lemuel. Lemuel. Le- Le- Lemuel. 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 That's a, that's a. I never heard of that name, but I will say that I didn't. It is weird to think that people were enjoying bowls of fruity pebbles five years before I was conceived. Yeah, I know, and I I'm very curious to know if it tasted different back. I mean, it must have, right? So, so when but, did the Flintstones actually come? How long did it take them to get their cereal? And by the long. way, are they they're they're not producing new episodes of the Flintstones nowadays, are they? Well, they made two Flintstones live action movies, right? But what I'm saying but, is, okay, so sixty and the cereal came out in seventy, so it took them ten years. Well, let me ask you a question: When did the Flintstones go off the air? Let's see if it's still in production. I mean, it is wild that they haven't made new Flintstones episodes. It went off the air in 1966, and then they got cereal five years after it went off the air. Uh, okay, and that cereal has been around. For, <laughs> that cereal's been around for, four, for for 51 years after that. That's insane. So kids today, like. There You're building be, my I'm argument for me. I'm surprised they didn't co-opt the pebble to something else. Like, say, all right, it was used to be Fruity Pebbles. But a kid today now looks at the box. They only know the Flintstones, unless they see it in syndication on a, on a network, they only know the Flintstones from the box of cereal. So, that is, yeah, no, no, no. I, I think that's crazy. And, like, what's, what's really weird is the Flintstones is almost like the Star Trek of cartoons where, like, the initial run was very short, yet somehow it became part of the... Like, almost like Jackass. You know? Yeah. And toss it all the way around. Yeah. Uh, do they still have the vitamins? Oh, yeah. Oh, they are. How are they sustaining branding when the, the, the thing has been off the air for 60 years? I guess it just became about... It, it was like any... It was like so many other products where it's like, no, it's just a cartoon mascot now. It, when Were there ever any other Flintstones shows, Pimp? After 66, besides those two horrendous live-action movies they released. I mean, I don't know what I would have thought would make a good Flintstones live-action movie. Wow, the Flintstones were on for six years total. Longest-running network animated television series for three decades until The Simpsons. Six years was the record until The (laughs) Simpsons? Damn. But it was the first, I think it was the first, like, primetime cartoon. You know, like, it wasn't like a kid's yes, morning thing. It is funny, though. The Honeymooners have zero branding. <laughs> zero. The Flintstones really just took the took that. Zero, yeah. And they're not even associated with, the creators are completely independent, right? Of the Honeymooners and the Flintstones. They just took that as inspiration. Yeah, they just, yeah. So they really took its essence and then ran with it. And 70 years later, they're still hawking vitamins and pebbles. On the backs of Hanna Barbera, but really, like it's really off of the honeymooners who probably got nothing from that. Look at this; they got pimp scroll up a little bit. They did television sex. Oh, that's specials. how they kept relevant. They did they, an animated feature, but look how many television special television specials there are. Right? Oh, they were, no, oh, they kept going. They kept going. No, look, Flintstone Comedy Hour, whatever that was. The Flintstone Kids, the Flintstone Comedy Show, they kinda the new Fred and sorta. Barney Show, the Rubbles. All right, there's a new show, Yabba Dabba Dinosaurs. Click on that. <laughs> That's new? Look at this. Where? How is that new? Uh, the series focuses on the lives of the best friends, Pebbles, Flintstone, and Bam Bam Rubble, who are joined by Dino for many adventures in the Stone Age. The series is scheduled to be released as part of Boomerang. Uh, okay, so that's going to be... I name my kid Bam Bam one day. Yeah? I have a kid I name him Bam Bam. <laughs> you shoot me straight? No. You don't. Wait, no, I would shoot you straight. You'd be like, "What are you doing?" Of course, you would. I, I, would I, I expect. That. I expect that you would. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. would do that I say if, I, with a far less offensive name than Bam Bam. I would do that with you. Pebbles. Yeah, I'd be. Like, what are you doing? It's my here? daughter Pebbles. <laughs> would you be like, "I need to talk to you," and for real, like, you can't do that, Sal. You can't do that. You could name your daughter Coco. But, but Coco's but not a name. Pebbles. Coco. Yeah. You think it's rude of people when they? The parents that name their kids things that are, like, off the reservation. Yeah, I think it's... You think it's selfish of them? Yeah, absolutely. 100%. 100%. My friend, Jim, I love him dearly. He told me once he wanted... To, now, we were younger. We were in college. But he told me he wanted to name his kid Weep Hill, and I yelled at him. Say that again now? He wanted to name his kid Weep Hill. Weep Hill? Weep Hill. Because he heard it in a Weezer, in the Weezer song, My Name is Jonas. And he goes, I think that's a really cool name. I wouldn't want to name my son Weep Hill. And I go, you're an asshole if you do that. Your friend is an asshole. No, he's not. He he came around on it. All right. Well, then he's yeah. a reformed asshole. Yeah, but I was like, I was like, but that's not. Weep Hill? I know you think that's kind of. What can you do with that? 
it's basically sounds. <laughs> yeah. Didn't uh, Musk name his kid like an equation or uh, something? A math equation. Uh. So what do they call him? A. Let me pull up his name. Everyone needs to simmer down. I mean, remember when when it was like crazy that Bruce Willis named his daughter, uh, him and Demi Moore named their daughter Scout? Remember when that was like nuts? Yeah. Now Scout is like. It'd be like Bill. normal. Yeah. Even, even like Moon Zappa was like, that was like considered yeah. crazy. Now I'd just be like, oh, Moon, that's like a normal yeah. thing. Like, Isn't it like a Northwest? Is that, that's like a, Kanye. And an Apple and all that stuff. Apple is, uh, isn't that, uh, 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 what's her face? Pepper Potts. Gwyneth Paltrow? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Paltrow's kid. I have my, my little cousin slash niece named Olive, who is a big fan of the show. Shout out to Olive. Hi, Olive. Uh, has a, a lovely name. I, lo- I love the name Olive. My goddaughter's sure. name is Olive. Yeah. Kurt Braunholler and his wonderful wife, Lauren, their daughter, Olive, You're... is my goddaughter. Really? Yeah. I'm dead serious. Well, that just took me for a loop. Yeah. Well, I know Kurt. I knew we had a kid, too, Kurt and, and I, I had, had no a... idea that you were the godfather of a child. Kurt and I had a podcast at the time where we explored emotions, and on the podcast, he <laughs> asked me, as they were expecting, he asked me if I would be their daughter's godfather. No. I haven't seen him in two years. <laughs> <laughs> Now, is that on you now, though? No, I'm it's the, no, the, I moved and then the pandemic hit. <laughs> it's not, the, the, you know, right, I just But you still love it. the child. Yeah, she's great. She's yeah. I didn't know who I am. Was it was it in a religious capacity or was it in a um uh, I, 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 uh not at all not, bestowed upon you like a, a bestowed, an honor. just like we we just think this would be nice. Listen, listen to me. If I ever take a, a, a fall, I want to give you the honor of supporting and raising my child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> that is what God parenting is. is right? no. like, listen, we have good news for you. Yeah. If we ever meet our demise untimely, you're gonna bear all the burden <laughs> of the life that we were trying to bring up is um please bring a me. gift <laughs> trust me when i tell you there was no interest in them having me raise this kid there was no there was no part of that it no was but that's because i am the godparent to many children yeah um all my sister's kids basically yeah. and there are a lot of them and um and then some friends too and i take the responsibility seriously yeah. I do. I really do. But I'm not like necessarily religious, but like I feel like it's sh- it's and it's them telling me that like we we you, we 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 trust and love you so much that like that's where that the position would be where we would trust you with our kids. Yeah. That's kind of what it is, right? Yeah. Yeah, I I think. <laughs> well, here, the godparents' role is a, a moral and religious one. Uh, it's the role of a sponsor, and being named as a godparent as a child does not create a legal relationship between the godparent and the child. Oh, really? Uh, it's yeah. that a legal bond? If, uh, both of a child's parents were to die, the godparent would, would not <laughs> automatically become the child's guardian. No, I love that they had to clarify that, because it's true. People probably are just like, they think that's what it means. Because like in no unspoken terms, it... it that's not what he was asking. Uh, the me. percentage of the percentage of parents that get hit by a bus, what percentage do you think the godparents then take ownership of the child? Like less than one percent? Is it all bullshit? Uh, if you're a godparent, well, I mean, that had to take possession of a child for some reason or another. Uh, let us know. Sound off in the comments. Right. I just want to know. Like, well, I don't. I don't. I'm not trying to make light of it if, if you know the parents got hit by a bus or anything. But no, no. Although that would be, you know what? Quite the stereotype. Don't, don't let us know. Don't sound off in don't, the comments. Don't sound Let's, off. We're, we're way if two off. of your close friends died yeah. in a bus accident, and you've no. been raising their child with your funds. Uh, do not sound off in the comments. I'm taking that back. We're way off track here. We, let's get on to the theme of the show. Don't sound off or do and tell us exactly what it was like. Like, do you feel like you weren't prepared for this? Could you ever prepare for it? Oh my Has God. it been the financial burden That's you That's not expect- what we do here at Taste Buds. Okay, then you know what? Take it off. This, this is, we're gonna, this we is talk Hey about Babe stuff. sugar cereals. You do this shit over at Hey Babe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. We'll pick this up on the next episode of Hey Babe. And God forbid, God forbid uh, Chris brings up cereal. I'll tell him where to stick it. <laughs> Just so you know, there's a mutual respect. I want to know if I'm going to get, if I, all right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, if, cereal, the cereal episode of Taste Buds is the debate that I never will, was, apparently. Yeah. I want to know if my if, if my, the show I do with you will get the same respect on Hey Babe that we're giving Hey Babe right now. I'm saying do. slide this to your show. <laughs> yeah. Cereal gets to the Oh, I won't show. say anything to Chris. I'll start talking about b- better cereals, and I'll see if he was like, you should save this for DeRozan. I I'll see if he saw you, you guys courtesy. talking about something that we've talked about, and well, I was like, these. 
funny is we mother. Leap. <laughs> yeah, I remember Leap that. it. These mother. Yeah, they yeah. have to have it all. It's not <laughs> enough that they get. 600 every Thursday. I got to see it. Posted three hours ago, 600,000 views. Hey, babe. I'm just like, all right. And I tune in and they're like, you know, like, I don't know. I like uh, Chips Ahoy better than. Like, <laughs> How funny would it be if we had just, it was just a talk. It was just a podcast about talking about the episode of this podcast. I don't no, but no pressure. You guys are doing, I mean, we got 100,000 subscribers in, it's amazing. in four months yeah. and thanks to you guys man this is so and we're, we're full steam ahead on this. it's incredible uh, it's it's incredible let's look look i do like talking to you about non-food items though i, I love, love talking we shoot about the shit too yeah i love it and yeah. usually the first episode this is the first episode back recording wise this is the first episode we've recorded in about a month so usually the first one back recording we have a little more preamble a little yeah. more catching up a little more shooting the breeze right yeah because we know that once we start the bell, or ring the bell, rather, yeah, that all goes The gloves the are off, and then you're yeah. my enemy. Shoot the breeze. Where did that come from? What does that mean, shoot the breeze? Shoot the shit. Shoot the breeze. Why? Both. It's probably just... An, uh, I'm big on etymology. What about you? Uh, <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. Originating in southern United States, the phrase seems to date from the late 1800s, a slang phrase alluding to taking, talking, does that say talking? Talking into the wind, like needless talk. Ah, shoot the breeze. So just, just go ahead. Yeah, just, yeah you're, blowing, you're blowing talking hot air. Wind. It was first recorded in 1919 in the variant. Okay, so what about shoot the shit? Uh, that just is probably. Just shit, the bullshit. Just shoot, it's, it's, yeah, a, like, it's a co-opt of that phrase probably, right? Whoa, oh my God. Norman Mailer coined that phrase? Wow. In, in a letter. Wow. wow. That guy, you want to watch wild stuff, man. There's a great Shoot Dick Cavett uh, clip on YouTube of Norman Mailer and Gore Vidal and Norman Three Mailer. names that I, I wonder if a percent, the way that I look at, at podcasts now, like yeah. I, if we have any younger, I know everyone you're talking about, yeah. but it's so funny. But Norman Mailer comes out drunk because it was back when you could do that on TV. Sure. And he calls out Gore Vidal for referring, to, alluding that he's a Nazi to in something. It's very, it's honestly very relevant, relevant to now. Like, you know, I didn't call you a Nazi. I just said, and he's like, no, you clumped me in. And it gets nasty, man. And it's, oh, really? It's a, wild, it's a wild clip. Yeah, it's fun to watch. It's I'll really watch fun it. to watch. All right. Here we go now. Look, let's get to let's get to what the bee's knees here. Don't look up the etymology. The <laughs> <laughs> bee's knees? Hold. Yeah. Hold. All right, you ready? Yeah, babe. We've sent out the... I sent it out like two... I got, it's, it's been out got here two and a half hours ago. I sent it out then. I know, I know. All right, cheers. I'm back on the sauce. I wasn't last time we... Rec- oh, you're, look at this. The guy that doesn't drink. He's already I, I don't drink. But, half but, done his drink. But a company sent us a, a thing, so we tried it. I mean, what do you want me to do here? We can say the name, right? No. All right. No, we get... You know... All right, Let's, all right. We do that all the time. We plug people all the time. All right, fair enough. Let's um, keep a little something to ourselves. Let's get started. We've already talked quite a bit. I, here, okay, let's. Here's here's where I'd like to begin the debate, and I'm going to throw it to you first. Oh, why, Fruit Loops? What strikes you as as wonderful about Fruit Loops? Because sure, sure. I've always found them to be a terribly, you know, middle of the road, underwhelming cereal. That's interesting because I think, you know, I think normal, I think the powerhouse cereal, so we both agree that we like right now at least that Captain Crunch with berries is the best. Right. Um, I think that's a powerhouse cereal. Then right underneath that, uh, well, that's my favorite, and I, I would argue it's one of the most popular sales-wise. Right underneath that comes probably five or six cereals to me that I think have stood the test of time that are going to be powerhouse opponents. Okay. I would say... Uh, I hear a lot. Of, I, I'm surprised you did not. When I said I was going to pick Fruit Loops, I'm surprised you didn't go up against me with something more like a um, Frosted Flakes. A, un, a you very universally loved, well branded cereal that has really not that many bells and whistles because it doesn't need it. Um, I think that would have been a really tough opponent for me. I'm I think not, I'm going to take you with Cocoa Pebbles. You know me, dude. I don't. 
and you know both of us. I'm not going to fight for it unless I'm really passionate about it. And I'm not passionate. About, I like Frosted Flakes, but I'm not passionate. I like Rice Krispies. I'm not passionate. Sure. I'm passionate about Cocoa Pebbles. I was going to do Fruity Pebbles, but we thought it was a little too similar. It's too on the nose. And as far as fruit goes, uh, fruit cereals go, I do think Fruit Loops is the king. You got tricks in there. You got some big... You got. I mean, fruity you, Pebbles beats them all. I, I'm surprised you didn't go Lucky category. Charms. I'll tell you that. Lucky Charms is you yeah, know, well, magically. It's a, you know. yeah, it's a snooze. Delicious. It's a snooze. Look, I'll put it above fruit uh, Fruit Loops though. I'll put Lucky Charms above Fruit Loops. You would, and I think it's a snooze. Yeah, I think that as a kid, I really like Lucky Charms, but I ate them so much that I got sick of them. Hasn't okay. happened with Fruit Loops. I'll say Fruit Loops. I started. I started with Fruit Loops uh, when it was like just orange, red, and yellow. It was three rings, bro. Yeah, three I know. colors. I know. I go back. Yeah. They since added purple, green, blue, but that wasn't not like till where the nineties. Yeah, that wasn't where I was. So Fruit Loops for me is it's just it's just delicious. Okay. It's, it, it it does not feel like real fruit at all. But no. It doesn't. That's mean one of the to. things I don't like. It, it doesn't like mean to. It doesn't have to. No cereal does. Fruity Pebbles. If you're going to put it up against it, tricks. Also, now they 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 used to be just like kicks, colored kicks. Right now, they changed them into the shape of the fruit, and that and also they've used also to added be... marshmallows to tricks. Yeah, that could take a walk. All right, marshmallows could take. But a walk. But I'll tell you this, and I would blame. I would say more so tricks than than Fruit Loops. They have. I believe that Fruit Loops and tricks both carry quite a perfumey or cologneish fruit uh, uh, scent. To I don't them. mind it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm nothing if I'm not telling you. <laughs> Why is that so funny? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I'm nothing if I'm not honest. It's a weird thing to not mind. I don't mind it. I will tell you that the, the, its closest competitor, I think, Tricks is second. I think its closest competitor is Fruity Pebbles, the brethren of Cocoa Pebbles. But I'll tell you, the whole Pebble family and the Flintstone family has a big issue, and it's they get soggy and milk too fast, they turn pasty, and they coagulate, and they get together. And if you that don't That is eat, their best feature. No. Nah. That is the, the clumping. If you I eat, call it the clumping. The, the clumping yeah. in, a, in a Pebble cereal yeah, that sounds, is the best part. That sounds appetizing, the clumping. It is. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. Well, I mean, look, you want to talk about, you know, people talk about it's how her- Captain Crunch rips up the roof of your mouth Fru- uh, fruit loops rips up the roof of your mouth those nah, circles don't captain get soft crunch for is shit. Ja- captain crunch will mess you up right they're like those little barrels and by the way you got to wait but ca- the thing about captain crunch is this they'll they'll mess you up so badly that if you wait a little while there's this a window of non-invasive crunch that still happens before the sogginess. Yes. Because they're so dense with crunch that you get this like a way wider of a window with crunch berries to eat it where it's soaked in milk that's not going to slice you up but still crunchy. I agree. You can't be an amateur. You can't eat it right away. Then you're going to slice up the no, top. No, I of get it. But I think Fruit Loops are the same thing. And I would say even worse because they're the, 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 the diameter of those loops, okay? The crunch. Captain Crunch is shaped in a way you can slide it back to a molar. You can jaw it a little bit. Those loops, loops go rolling down your tongue like loose wheels down the street. All right? And they, they that, go right across the roof of your mouth. Well, right? I don't know about that metaphor. Why? I don't think. It I only never, makes I, perfect sense. I never scooped up. Well, because I never scooped up a, a spoonful of uh, Fruit Loops and threw them in my mouth and, and said to myself, whoa, these are rolling down my tongue to the back of my throat like a tire down the street. I'm saying they just, roll. The metaphor is it doesn't, doesn't connect. The way they land in your mouth. Okay, if you get one of those yeah, Fruit the way Loops. They, land, they, they feel like little fruity Frisbees in my mouth, like 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 ring tosses. No, no, and by no, the way, they're no. thin. Even the profile is thin. A Fruit Loop has never cut my mouth. I wouldn't cut because because a, 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 a Captain Crunch has those. They're like what? almost like these little dowels, like these little like almost like they're like earplug shaped. They're like Listen, barrels. We're not arguing Captain the Crunch. Rings, the rings crack I'm, under pressure with way less pound per square inch. I disagree inch completely. Of, like, by mm. the way, look at the. F- and pimp in the post, if you could put this this exact cover of Fruit Loops up on the wall, look how sad that cereal looks. Look how depressing it looks like. It looks like a fake cereal. I, it's three miserable colors. Also, Toucan Sam sucks. No way, as a bro. Mascot. No way. He I won't have, sit here and let you say that. I was waiting for you to slander have, him. I was have, waiting for you to slander him. He doesn't him. have shit Toucan on. Sam is the shit. You're gonna. He's cool. He's cool as shit, man. And I love that old version of him too. I love this. M- 
Toucan Sam. He he has never been a like he has never lost his relevance to me. I think he stood the You're test. You're gonna of time. put I, hold on. You're gonna put Toucan Sam against Fred Flintstone. Are you out of your okay. Sam mind? doesn't have his own cartoon, but Fred Flintstone, he honestly, have, he Fred doesn't. Flintstone has been riding a wave he created in the 60s, and he got a stronghold over vitamins and pebbles, and he never let go. You'd show me Fred Flintstone outside of a vitamin and a pebble. He you says, show me two kids Sam outside of cereal. But that's his only thing. Oh, my God. You're nuts, dude. What you, what, so Fred Flintstone is bad for diversifying? No, I, I actually i am over Is the there a Toucan Sand movie starring John Goodman? I, no, there isn't. I, oh, that bombed. I wouldn't have brought that <laughs> there up. Isn't. Well, I'm just that saying. That was terrible. No, saying, no offense to John Goodman. Shout out. It sucked. It was a shit movie. Offense to John Goodman. He should be ashamed of that <laughs> film. But I'm not going to uh, put into the argument that John Goodman, for some reason, because John Goodman played Fred Flintstone in a live action you, feature, that has something to do with the, the credibility of... Let's uh, Talk Ken about. Sam. Let's talk Duke about. Sam. It's such a great let's name. Talk too. about. Hey, taste buddies. Uh, Joe and Sal here to talk to you about Keeps. Keeps is a hair loss prevention medication. Yeah. That is prescribed to you through a virtual doctor conveniently. You have consultations online. It's delivered straight to your door every three months. You do not have to leave your home. Treatments start at just ten bucks a month. Right. Amazing. Prevention is key. So this is what Keeps is about. It's about keeping what you have. If you're bald. It's not going to grow your hair. That's what I like about this product. You need beans or a genie bottle for that. <laughs> it's not some kind of magical miracle. Right. You know, BS, hey, we're promising you impossible things. It's saying, hey, if it's falling out and you want to slow that down, yeah. you want to hopefully stop that, use Keeps. Hence the name, Keeps. Makes yeah. a lot of sense. You're a guy. So you blow drying yeah. your hair. You're going out on the weekend. You have beautiful, like a, like a, like a Travolta-type-esque Saturday Night Fever thing. Then one day, there's a little too much hair in your brush. You want mm -hmm. to pump the brakes. Yeah. Keeps. Yeah, exactly. Keeps is for you. You go from Saturday Night Fever Travolta, and you're heading towards Gotti Travolta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you say, and you really want to just pause at around <laughs> face-off Travolta. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to K-E-E-P-S dot com slash taste buds. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash taste buds. You're going to receive your first month of treatment for free. free. All right, once more, K E E P S dot com slash taste buds. Get your first month free. K E E P S dot com slash taste buds. Travolta wouldn't have it any other way. Taste buddies, we all love food around this place. You know it. We know it. But sometimes you got to cut down on the carbs. Sometimes you got to cut down on the sugar. Sometimes you just got to cut back in general. But why, when you cut back, do you have to deprive yourself of those delicious treats that you love so much? You don't. Number one Not anymore. of those being cereal, right? Yep. We've talked about this. Uh, that's magic where, Spoon is what we're talking where about. Magic Spoon comes in. Am I wrong? No. It's a zero grams of sugar cereal. It's got 13 to 14 grams of protein in each serving, and it's only got four net grams of carbs in each serving of the cereal. Yeah. Right? What else does it have? Let's see. It's only 140 calories per serving. Uh, it's keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, low carb, and GMO free. That's a lot of freeze, baby. A lot baby. of stuff you're getting free there. They're not, not going to charge you for the gluten. They're not going to charge you for the <laughs> grain. They're not charging you for the soy. Yeah. All free. And we've got some exciting news. Magic Spoon is relaunching the blueberry flavor. <laughs> One of the favorite flavors that was it was out of stock and now it's back in stock. People was it was sold out. You couldn't get it. That was my favorite one out yeah. of all the ones that I. Did ate. you ever mix? Because I like mixing. Did you ever take the chocolate and the peanut butter and then make chocolate peanut butter? You know, I'm not a wild guy like that. I mm. try to keep it. You know, I keep everything in its own lane. You know I don't I mean? love chocolate cereals, as you know. I know. But when I mix the chocolate and the peanut butter together, it made a nice midday treat. I'll tell you this: the blueberry, so delicious, didn't need to be mixed. That's it. And that's it. If you're listening from Canada, Magic Spoon now ships there as well. And you can also build your own box, don't forget. Uh, there's available flavors to build your very own custom what? bundle. What? Uh, and those flavors are cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, and cinnamon. So I guess then in... Oh, oh okay. So you could build a bundle of those. Sure. You can't mix it into the same box. You're not mixing box. your frosted with your cinnamon. All right. We're not getting We too haven't wild. gone there yet. It's yeah. Magic Spoon. It's, it's only, not Miracle Spoon. Yeah, it's only a matter of time. Go to magicspoon.com slash taste buds to grab some blueberry or a custom bundle of cereal to try it today. And be sure to use our promo code taste buds at checkout to save $5 off your first order. This offer is now good anywhere in the U.S. or Canada, as you mentioned, but only when you use our promo code at checkout. That's right. Magicspoon.com slash taste buds. Use promo code 
taste buds. Save yourself five bucks off your first order. Take it easy. Let's talk about let's talk about who Toucan Sam is ripped off of versus who Fred Flintstone is ripped who off is of. Who is Toucan Sam? Re- re- follow his nose. Oh, I'll get, I love. Oh, they, I'm going to get to it. Hold by on. The way, hold how on. How great is it that they put they 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 um what do you call it when they uh they stylized fruit? I love that. What the, do you mean the double O's? They use the the loops because loops is L O O P S. So fruit is F R. You know you've seen that. It's it's F R. Yeah. Oh, did I spell it wrong in the? Did I spell it wrong in the... Probably. Oh, I don't want to look at the results. Don't I, look at the results. Oh, my God. I think I wrote F-R-U-I-T-L-O-L-O. It's fine. Yes. I wouldn't have remembered the little stylized nah, but trick. I do. But who cares? I've been sweet. It means something here's to me. But here's the thing. Fred Flintstone is... is Shit. F- Fred Flintstone is ripped from Jackie Gleason. Yeah. One of the funniest human beings that has yeah, ever lived. He, he, uh, look, Undoubtedly. Right. Hold on. Let me finish. Undoubtedly. Toucan Sam is a ripoff of Groucho Marx. And I'll say it. The most overrated comedy figure of all time. Groucho Marx? The most overrated. Overrated. Of all the comedy classic people where people go, dude, you got it. You got it. Hardy, blah, blah, blah. Bob Hope, everything. You go back and watch Groucho Marx, and it's him with those dumb fake eyebrows. Ah, I seen an elephant in my pajamas today. It, he, they stink. Nah, but if you, if, you, if you listen to the, like, they do have, they, they are one of the, like, trailblazers of that. Quick cadence. Let him blaze the trails. I don't care. All right. Groucho Marx has nothing to goddamn do with Fruit Loops from Kellogg. He's who Toucan Sam is based on. Ah, he could take a walk. Toucan Sam is... A, Toucan Sam... Toucan Sam is... Google it. Toucan Sam has been around since the war, 1945 now. Yeah, since when Groucho Marx was yeah, around. But, I mean, but, but Toucan Sam's been around 80 years. I don't have to... He's not... He's not... Groucho Marx is not carrying Toucan Sam, okay? Toucan Sam has, has earned the right... To be his own individual identity. Nobody it, says Toucan Sam. You mean Groucho Marx? No, but I'm saying, and, and nobody says Fred Flintstone, uh, Ralph Cramden. Mm. No, but I'm saying if you want to talk mascots and their value and what makes one better than the other, I'm saying even the people they're ripped off of, Fred Flintstone is better than 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 Toucan I'm Sam. I'm over the Flintstones. Name me one. The Flintstones was a cartoon that I I never really loved loved as a what's child. Toucan anyway, Sam's, I love the vitamins. What's Toucan Sam's catchphrase? Follow my nose. No, it's not. Yeah, I believe it is. No, it's not. Well, what is it then? He doesn't have one, I don't think. I just told you it. Is his catchphrase, follow my nose? Yeah, because he he smells the fruit loops and he knows where they are and he goes there. He leads you to the loops. Toucan Sam, follow your nose. Okay. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, what do you you mean? I didn't remember that being, what is Toucan Sam famous for saying? Follow my nose. It always knows. It that's always what knows. It is. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You think that's better than yabba dabba do? Yabba dabba do. No, 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 bro, bro. Let's 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 hold on We're a second. Getting too off of the food here. Well, hold on a second, bro. Right. Yabba dabba do existed before Fruity Pebbles, man. Okay. Yeah, Fred Fred so? Flintstone says that. Yeah. But Fruit Loops, Toucan Sam was created for Fruit Loops, and that slogan, follow my nose, it always knows, is for the cereal. Okay. So I'm not going to put it up against Yabba Dabba Doo. Yabba Dabba Doo is his okay. catchphrase in, in the zeitgeist. That's not fair. Okay. Like, it's it's from the show. Okay. I mean, look, put the, I don't give a shit about the slogans, dude. Let's get back to what you're doing anyway. We, we still haven't right. touched on Cocoa Pebbles or Fruit Loops. I got a lot to say. The clumping of, uh, first of all, a chocolate cereal I'll pit against a fruit cereal any day of the week. Zilch. There's no way. What are you talking about? I hate chocolate cereals. That's I, insane. I, have, I do not eat chocolate cereals. That's I nuts. don't like chocolate as breakfast. I do not like it. Why? I, my body rejects it. I don't want the taste of chocolate. I don't associate the taste of chocolate with breakfast. I just don't want it. I just don't like it. I don't, I don't eat chocolate cereals at all. I don't. And I'll eat fruit cereals till the cows come home. So, so and the best of the best fruit cereals is Fruit Loops. I love the scent. So, I love the flavor. It's just the right fruit flavor for me tricks if you like eat tricks it's like it's fruit too but it's it's i don't know man there's something about fruit loops that has a taste it's almost like mcdonald's to me they have this like captivating hold on that they have don't a lock you on that fruit flavor dare after you with the things you said about mcdonald's on this show when that was my pro mcdonald's argument i don't mean that no well, don't call you it Wendy's. dare call, i just say mcdonald's because mcdonald's is more popular but people are always just like I don't know. Obviously, there's better burgers than McDonald's, but McDonald's just has this yep. thing that we are addicted yeah, no, to. No, no, my exact, my exact Wendy's argument better, but, that you but, said was bullshit, and that's why it sucked. I didn't say it was bullshit, but I just said that Wendy's was better. I'm just using McDonald's because it's a more popular. Look, I'm Fruit just Fruit Loops. You can't tell. You can't tell one loop from the next. So, so, so you can you can argue that it's a fruit flavor. What do you mean you can't tell one loop from the next? You tell me you could tell. 
Oh, please make this argument. Please argue oh, you right a blind now. Taste yes, test? please, please no. argue that the all I know is when I put the flavors. spoon in my mouth, there's a beautiful medley of, of fruit flavors. That's all I know. There's but one medley, and right that medley is perfume. Chocolate fla- flavored cereal blows. It never tastes like chocolate. It tastes like cereal's version of chocolate. Now, and you, you think that Fruit this, Loops this tastes count, like real fruit? Count chocolate. There's cookie oh, crisps. Hold on. And you think Fruit Loops tastes like real fruit? No. Yeah. Okay. No, but. Fruity Pebbles, be, it almost becomes like well, we're not mu- talking uh, Fruity I'm Pebbles. I'm sorry, Cocoa Pebbles. We're talking Cocoa it becomes Pebbles. Like, it becomes like a, a muddy... Yes. No. And it turns the milk into something uh, magical. It turns normal milk into chocolate milk at the end. I want That is milk. up there with Frosted Flakes milk at the end. No. I don't That's like nuts. chocolate cereals. It tastes like a weird processed chocolate. It gets this slime... Fr- let me, let me leave Fruit Loops for a moment and focus more on the pebbles. Go ahead. The pebbles have this weird chemical reaction that happens to them when they're in milk longer than 90 seconds. It's not a chemical it, reaction. Oh, it sure it is. It's a physical it's a, reaction. Well, it's also a chemical reaction. Let's not make it sound like the cereal's combusting. But you're combining ingredients that have chemicals. You're combining milk and, sh- and, and wholesome natural cereal. No, there's definitely <laughs> words you can't pronounce on the side of that ingredients box. <laughs> You know what I mean, though. Yeah. You have such a small window with fruity pebbles or cocoa. But let's just keep it on cocoa pebbles. We have such a small window to pour that milk in and get that bowl down because most people don't want the coagulated. That's not true. Blood clot. That's why you. That is cocoa pebbles. That's why you stick with it. That's nah. what, and then you get this, and, this, this this weird sheen gets gets glossed over the pebble and it, it gets this weird mushy. Just really weird. The, the 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 actual texture that happens after a minute and a half of pebbles and milk is gross. You get you get sp- it's gross. You, you get actually spo- have to just- any fan of the pebbles brands of cereal will agree with me. You get spoonfuls when 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 it's right and you know what you're doing. You get spoonfuls that are crispy on the top and soft and mushy on the bottom with some of that. It's almost like eating pork crackling except as chocolate cereal. There's a crispy <laughs> skin layer on the top and then this do wonderful me favor, succulent just to, meat. Just to help my argument, do me a favor, can you just repeat that whole sentence again? It's like eating a wonderful pork crackling as a cereal except chocolate flavored. Yeah. Which, by the way... Again, great metaphor. <laughs> That's not it's, a metaphor. It's but great crispy, comparison. It's crispy and soft and succulent. Yeah, no, no. All listen, at once. when I'm when I'm just wake up, my alarm goes off, and I'm like, oh my god, what do I have ahead of me today? How am I going to tackle the world today? Yeah, I know. What, and yeah. I stand up. I maybe I, I wash my say. hands and my face. You right. know, I don't brush my teeth. Did I wait till after I eat? Okay. And I go into the thing. This, the morning sun is shining in. I take a nice cold glass of milk and I say. Boy, oh boy, to start this day, I would love a chocolate version mm-hmm. of a pork stretch crackling. It, stretch it out longer yeah. next time. I want a chocolate version of <laughs> a pork crackling stat. What are you doing, a one-man show about my joke? At 9.07 a.m. <laughs> to you? make me start my day. I want to get onto the city bus after eating a bowl of chocolate pork cracklings. That's what I want. Let's talk sales. Chocolate and I believe cracklins, he said. I believe that now now Pimp, I only saw briefly the numbers for for Pebbles, but I believe it outsold Fruit Loops. Uh Fruit Loops is at the number seven spot and Fruity Pebbles is at ten. ten. That's that's nearly discernible. Wait, but is I, Cocoa I you, Pebbles even chart? No, no. When it comes to the pebbles, Fruity dominates Cocoa, which is another weird... I wanted to talk... Well, look, I'll tell you this, Fruity Pebbles versus... Fruity Pebbles is a better cereal. It's a one... Look at the look at the visual of Fruity Pebbles. Pull, pull, up a, pull up a Fruity Pebbles next to Fruit Loops photo, please. The visual even of the two next to each other. It's no contest. Fruity Pebbles box is really great with the visual. Oh, God, But, but it's once great. you crack the plastic open and you pour it into the bowl, Fruity Pebbles fails on all accounts, buddy. Look it, at this. It, it's you know how you know how I'll eat a fruity pebble. I'll eat it at, like out of the box, like I'm eating chips or something like that. But I, pouring milk on it, I gotta tell it you just, something. And, and you know what? You know what else? Fruity pebbles is actually, dude. You're, you're I gotta tell doing you cocoa pebbles. We keep talking about gotta, fruity pebbles. I know. I, I, look, but we could talk cocoa. It's so I, sweet. It's too sweet. I gotta tell you something. After I eat one bowl of fruity pebbles, look, and we're talking cocoa pebbles, I'm assuming it's the same. You get this rush of like, I how many bowls can you have of chocolate pebbles, cocoa three, pebbles? Easy. Three. three, you can three in a row. That seems like a lot. One, to me. two, three. I was gonna say that I never ate fruity fruit loops. I want to the Pimp, point don't where leave I was that, like, hold on, don't leave that picture because I want to get no, no, no. Finish your point, but I want to get I never ate fruit picture. loops to the point where I was like, 
I can't eat another bowl. I feel sick. Every time I eat Fruit Loops, I have to be like, don't you dare eat another bowl. Bullshit. And- Look at these next to each other. Look at the vibrance of the of the pebble cereal versus that bland. That The colors of Fruity Pebbles, it looks like the way... Uh, uh, a it housewife like fu- does decorates her house in the middle of Idaho. Do you know what I mean? It's a lot of mauves and it's it's you mean a, a fu- and potpourris. Fr- you, you mean, know mean a fruit mean? loops or fruity pebbles? The fruit loops, excuse fruit me. Loops. The fruit loops looks like looks like middle American mm. household wallpaper. That <laughs> looks like every <laughs> painting in a Ramada <laughs> Inn over the bed. And you know it does. <laughs> no, it does yes, not. it does. Look at you those are, colors. It's are, awful. You are off the mark today with your comparisons. No, I'm not. Look at those I, colors. I've never looked at Pastel cereal. I, I never looked down at a bowl of Fruit Loops and been like, "This reminds me of Ramada that is in artwork." Pastel cereal. You, you, you don't help yourself. Look, the fruity Look pebbles. Look at the fruity pebbles. The fruity pebbles. I will. I will call a spade a spade. The fruity pebble. Is that a, is that okay to say that? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> I said it. I'm like I'll that's, that's antiquated. I hope no one yeah. thinks I'm saying that no, wrong. No. I always took it as a card game thing. Okay. Yeah, that's what it is. All right. That's what well, it is. I thought so, but people well, focus on it and make it worse. Sometimes, sometimes you say something, <laughs> and people are like, 90 years ago, this meant something else." No, and I, look, I'm talking about it. cocoa pebbles. All right, uh, I, I agree that fruity pebbles is um, is vibrant. It's way more vibrant, and I will give you that. But it looks vibrant you, is not have, gonna, vibrant is not going to win the argument. They it's have about pebbles, taste and texture. They have pebble cereal. When you go to like a lot of like yogurt, frozen yogurt bars, pebble cereal will be a, a topping at the yogurt bar. I've never seen Fruit Loops look at Pimp shaking his head quietly because he knows nah, who's but right. That's because that, that's it, simply a function you, of this. By the way, calling it pebbles post it's post that that, that creates a. Post here. Yeah. Post. Post has a sack on them. What do you mean? He's calling it pebbles. They're little chips, little flaky chips. They look like little rocks. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. They look like little rocks. No. It looks like what Fred hammers at the, pla- at the place he works. No. Yes, it does. They look like these little chip, like flaky chips. They oh, look. look. Like, they look like. Fucking favorite hero cookie has a Fruity Pebbles flavor. <laughs> that, they don't have a Trix flavor. Look, Oreo Fruity Pebbles, okay? I, I, look, all I'm saying is they got they got stones calling them pebbles, okay? They I, don't look like pebbles. They should be called Fruity and Cocoa Mini Flakes. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, and, and again, we need to go back to Cocoa Pebbles, but I promise you this. If you looked up cereal recipes, you would find several that involve pebble cereal. You will find almost none that involve Fruit Loops. I promise you that. I, I've seen the Fruit Loops version of a Rice Krispie Treat. Look, I've seen... As well as I've seen... Yeah, uh, I once saw a man that had two heads. What does that mean? I, 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 we've seen everything. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what's commonplace. You saw a man with two heads. <laughs> yes, I did. No, you didn't. None of your business where. You did not. <laughs> None of your yeah, business where. <laughs> Where'd you see a man with two heads? I told you. I'm not telling you. Yeah, I'm not getting into it. Everything you're saying today is suspect. Everything. Please. Everything. Coco, Please. Coco doesn't belong in, 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 in breakfast. Coco. I'll tell you. Look, I'll give you this. I'll give you this point. Coco Here's sucks. my beef. Here's, <laughs> it sucks. You're an idiot. It, it sucks. It smells not good. It doesn't look like a Coco pebble. Coco sucks. It, it's also a big brown box. It's just lame. You, you, you know, you're touting the vibrance of Fruity Pebbles, and that's not what you're arguing I know, for. I'm Pull co- up a box I of Cocoa come Pebbles. Back to it looks Coco like a pebble. It looks just like a big brown, ugly, disgusting, listen, unappetizing listen. More piece importantly, of shit. More- so, I feel like I am looking at a screen 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. As the kids would say, 24-7, 365. 365. Uh, and I got to tell you, it's if it's Get not low. news. Get if low. It's, <laughs> yeah. If it's not news, it's editing. It's if it's not editing, it's news. If it's not editing and news, it's social media. It's, it's everything from the windows to the walls. It's writing. Yeah, right, right, right. That, so here's my point. You need to unplug, and that's easier said than done. But one of my favorite ways to rest my eyes, okay, is to have a great pair of wireless earbuds. Now, here's what I don't like about the wireless earbuds. They're too dang expensive, which is why I like... Raycon. Raycon Raycon earbuds. No dangling wires or stems get in the way here. These are Bluetooth earbuds. They come in a range of stylish colors, and they are always with comfortable in-ear fits for a more discreet look. I've used these things. How's the battery? Great battery life. We're talking about six hours of playtime. You can just unplug for a while, man. And the best part is they make great sound accessible to everyone. These are not superly high-priced, you know, uh, elitist, you know, 
your elitist pinky up in the air earbuds. And they're also not trash. They're really they're really quality, exactly. solid, exactly. reliable earbuds. And that's why we're uh, we're, we're giving them a read here. Exactly. So and on, Raycon's offering 15%. On top of their already great price, 15% of, off. Of all their products, too, not just the buds. Yeah. For our listeners, and all you got to do to get it, you go to buyraycon.com slash taste buds. That's it. You get 15% off your entire Raycon order. Uh, feel free to grab a pair and a spare, really. And that's it. 15% off at buyraycon.com slash taste buds. That's buyraycon.com slash taste buds. Earbuds for the taste buds. <sighs> I got to tell you something right now. I, I don't know if you like me, but I've been worried about internet security for a while now. Mm-hmm. I don't like people selling my information, taking it or anything like that. Mm-hmm. I like to know that when I go online, it's ironclad secure. And that's why I've been using Express, v- Express VPN. Express VPN. Yeah, have you heard about it? Yeah, yeah. So you know that Express VPN is an app that reroutes your internet connection through your secure service, so your ISP can't see the sites you visit. I see. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're on the uh, if you get your internet from Verizon or Comcast, Joe. But uh, ISPs in the U.S. can legally sell your information at companies. I don't know if you know that. Also, Express VPN keeps all your information secure. It's an incognito yeah. mode. If no, you know. incognito mode doesn't even do what ExpressVPN does. Even if you use incognito mode, they still get reports of every website you've ever visited. That's why ExpressVPN also keeps all your information secure by encrypting 100% of the data okay. uh, with the most powerful encryption service. So it's available on all your devices. Okay. I don't know. If, I don't want many people to hear it. Uh, your phones, your computers, even your smart TV. So there's no excuse to not be using it. I've been using it now for about four years. No joke. It's really okay. affordable, but I, I mean... Okay. If we wanted to, we should probably offer something to the listeners. I don't we know if we want to. On... I don't know if we want to tell them about it outright. Get in on this. If you want to get in on it right now, I would say just protect your online activity today with the VPN rated number one by CNET and Wired. And if you want to visit our exclusive link, Joe, it's expressvpn.com slash taste buds. And you get three extra months free uh, on a one-year package. Okay, so did, you, did you get what I was picking up and putting down? It's expressvpn.com slash taste buds. That's expressvpn.com slash taste buds to learn more if you want to. But let's keep it between us. More importantly, hold on a second. We, no offense, we need to we, we, let's, pause, let's pause the argument for a second. We need to have a talk with Pimp. Did you see how he just spelled Coco? Pimp. What, how old are you, 30? 29. 29? Mm. I mean, Jesus Christ, Well, Pimp. when he hits his 30, That's the so second that's... thing you spelled today that was so crazy. <laughs> Pimp spelled Coco, C-O space C-O. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're probably, yeah, I think Pimp's more looking at like, uh, I don't know. This kid makes more money, I think, <laughs> I think, than my father ever did in his life. My father worked his ass off for 45 years. <laughs> this kid, right? yeah, that's how he spelled Coco. C-O space C-O. There's no justice in this world. C- he might even put C-O dot C-O dot. <laughs> no, no. Good Lord. You know, that's no offense to my dad, by the way. I'm just saying that's what's happening in you're this saying world. Ditto. Today. Yeah. But look, Cocoa Pebbles, Cocoa Krispies also sucks. I will give you this argument. I will give you this argument. Pick a it is not I don't like Cocoa Krispies I, look I'm, more like what Cocoa Pebbles should look like I'm than Cocoa Pebbles. You, that's it. And I'm, Cocoa Pebbles look more like what Cocoa I would think. Cocoa Pebbles are Krispies. amazing. If you put a bowl of Cocoa Pebbles and Cocoa Krispies in front of me and said, which one do you think is Pebbles and which one do you think is Krispies, I'd choose the Krispies as Pebbles and the Pebbles as Krispies. No, you wouldn't. Now, I don't know if that really makes a difference in my argument. It doesn't. But I'm just saying, like, get a hold of your product. I was about to give you a, I was about to give you a point in, uh, for your team. I don't like that it's called Cocoa Pebbles. It should be called Chocolate Pebbles, okay? Because it's not cocoa flavored. It doesn't taste like hot cocoa. It tastes like chocolate, right? That's the, so. So I have a problem with the name. Cocoa has but a, it's fun, more fun though. It's I like, will say I this: in defense, branding perspective, I get it. Every positive argument I made about Cocoa Pebbles, with the exception of the vibrance visual argument. Uh, or I mean, I mean, I mean that I made about fruity pebbles. You could apply to cocoa pebbles. The texture arguments. The, it's the same experience, whatever. Except you end up with an even better result, which is a chocolate milk in the bowl. And I will say this: the pebble itself works so well on its own that they were able to add two drastically different flavors to it, and it still works in both scenarios. You cannot say that about Fruit Loops. You can't. What do they you don't have Cocoa Loops. They don't have them. I'm sure they have variations, but I'm not talking about Cocoa Loops. I'm talking about Fruit Loops, and you're talking about Cocoa Pebbles. And I will say that I feel like I win this argument with even just one point. I, I the, the consistency and texture of pebbles of cocoa pebbles after ninety seconds in milk tastes like you are eating a pile of 
cold, milk-soaked excrement. Well, cold doesn't. T- it's cereal, Sal. It's all cold. But but this, it's this it's this slimy, and it's all milk soap. It's it's wild. The texture. I wish I could. This is the first time I ever really wish I could eat something on. Everyone says eat it while you're on there. I'm like, you don't want to hear us chew. We've already had it. There's no point. It's a waste of time. It's dead air. I wish I could eat cocoa pebbles right now and have you eat it because the consistency. This is what it feels like. It feels like ready. It feels like mush at the ninety seconds in milk. Your whole bowl. It's not. Feels like that's not it true. It feels like a mud pie. It feels like it feels like it feels like this phlegm. It's got this weird slimy coating on it that feels like a mixture that's of not true. phlegm versus like. That's no, it not really true. does. It's got this really really weird sheen over it. That's not true. And then it, it, it's so soggy, but then there's this weird invisible like netting that holds it together. That when you Swirl it on your tongue. It it's it's it, it tastes like phlegm. Okay, it but tastes if like you wanna, chocolate pebbly phlegm. But if you want to, but if you want to talk in extremes, which I'll allow you to do, then I'm going to talk in extremes. Versus what? A bowl of actual pebbles that can sit in the milk for an hour and never get soft. No, I would say and rip would your say mouth to pieces. Out of any cereal, name any cereal in production. I don't even know a close second. To Fruity Pebbles, as far as you got 60 seconds to Fruit eat Fruit Loops, you mean? No, oh. Fruity Pebbles. We're talking Cocoa Pebbles. Oh, Cocoa Pebbles, sorry. Cocoa Pebbles, though. Pebbles. Pebbles. I don't, I, I don't think you can name another cereal that, off the top of your head, that it is, is not ruined 67. within 60 seconds. It's not 60 it's seconds. It's gone within 60 and seconds. <laughs> the mascot should be Nicolas Cage. <laughs> That's Cocoa Pebbles, okay? It's, you got 60 seconds to eat it, or it literally tastes like you're eating, f- like, 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 bird shit. All right. Would it you does. Stop it, it bird does. Shit. It does. It feels like what? It feels like. It feels like Count Chocula's shit. Oh, stop it! You're nuts. It's this you're weird nuts. thing. You're, you, the you, you thing don't get, you you're, don't get, you, the you, biggest you, con you're making about the biggest con you're making about pebbles is the biggest strength. Uh, that consistency is amazing, and it doesn't take 60 seconds. It takes a hell of a lot longer because I look forward to that consistency, and you I got to wait. You have nerve. A hell of a, a lot longer? I got to wait. by then? Yes. It takes 60 a he- seconds. A hell of a lot longer? Yeah. What's a hell of a lot longer? I don't know. 120 seconds? Two minutes versus, uh, versus right. th- th- uh, 60 All seconds. Right, two minutes. Two minutes. All right, let's, go to the, let's go to the phones. Let's see who's got the best comments this week. Fruit Loops, by the way, Cocoa Pebbles. It just reminds me. It's it's. You know what? The vibrance of the fruit, both in smell, texture, taste, and sight, it's more of a like a a, a morning wake me up. It's more of like let me start my day. I'm pouring a bunch of great colors into a yeah. bowl. It's 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 fruity. It's lively. Yeah. It's lively. It's the way I want to start my day. It's a pick me up. It, it's bright. Yeah. It's, it's, it, yeah. it, I, it puts me I'll in a tell bright you, mood. I'll tell you, you what you I get the same effect from. bowl of brown shit and cocoa Sometimes, and now you're shoving chocolate into your mouth at nine in yeah, the morning. Yeah, chocolate, you know. And it to get the this, same effect as Fruity Pebbles, what I'll often do is I'll go into the bathroom and I'll open the back of the toilet tank, and I'll pull out the blue thing, and I'll sniff it directly. And I'll go, that's kind of like Fruity Pebbles right there. A nice chemical again, I, whiff first thing in the morning. Again, I don't know about that comparison. Of a weird color that doesn't exist I in I don't know about life. that comparison once more. All right. I think that I've never poured a bowl of cereal and, like, let me eat a bunch of urinal cakes let's right go. now. I, I didn't don't say make eat. the connection. I said, let me smell. I don't make that connection. Let's go to the, let's go to the phones. Cocoa Pebbles. Cocoa Pebbles. Uh, so Zane, uh, at Zane... Zilkin says, Fruit Loops is the cereal for man children who peaked in elementary school. Thank you, Zane. Give me a break. I don't put any stock in that whatsoever because here's, everyone loves the loops. Here's one from Cassandra. The, the, fun is even, the, the name is even more fun. We're, it, it's we're got reading this, the comments I now. Know, but I didn't, you, you went ahead. I didn't say go ahead. No, we have to go. We have to move. Fruit and loop. Like loop, fruit is a fun word. We spent too much time on bullshit I like the top the, of the I show. love the double O's. I love the branding. I love, the, I love a loop. Loop is fun. I'm going to need a bowl of loops. It's just fun. Fruit loops. It's phonetically more fun. Cocoa Pebbles is just, a, it's just, it's just in every way, no. it, in every way, Fruit Loops is better Here's than Cocoa good. Pebbles. In the name, the color, the texture, the we've, smell, we've, the mascot. You, can, you can harangue all you want. We've been through it. I'll harangue. 
Uh, here's one. Three bowls and you no, tap out. No joking. I don't know how to say this handle. No joking. Each Fruit Loop has the same flavor. Thank you very much. Cardboard. Wrong. Also, thanks for the gray milk at the end of the bowl. Oh, that's a great point. I forgot that Fruit Loops leaves you with gray milk. No, it, it depends on the loops that you have. I, 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 don't, I don't have gray milk. The Fruit best loop, part Fruit about loop. Cocoa Pebbles isn't even the cereal. It's the chocolatey milk afterwards. I would rather have a lovely fruity treat than a mushy, soggy, gross blob. Oh, wow. She went both ways on us. Yeah. What does that even mean? Wow. Both subpar cereals. Don't agree, to be honest. But I take the pebbles because of the one-of-a-kind chocolate milk you get. Ah, uh, with the, cho- the chocolate milk now is going to do me in here. <laughs> Got to be Fruit Loops. Cocoa Pebbles isn't even the best pebbles. I'd rather eat actual pebbles. All right. That's what I'm saying, Funny. babe. You're going to bring Cocoa Pebbles to the fruit party? I couldn't bring, I tr- I told, we wanted to do Fruity Pebbles. You mm. said it was too similar. We I, ended up arguing Fruity Pebbles anyway. But you said you wanted to do a chocolate cereal. No, mm. we, you, you said it was too similar. I would have just argued Fruity Pebbles. I thought it was. Listen, you should have went somewhere else. Oh, God. Apparently, I was a 94-year-old child because I didn't have either of these as a kid. And I was like, hell for yeah, Cracklin' Oat Brand. Oh, Cracklin' Oat Brand, first time I ever tried it was during the pandemic. Shout out Cracklin' Oat Brand, though, because I, I get it. Bonnie McFarlane, which one has shrimp tails? Yeah, you could have went Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's it. That I, seems to be a powerhouse. I wouldn't. Also, first I'm time I've had it was right a pandemic. I Two cereals. First time. I wouldn't pee on Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean that. Wow. I, I'm a Golden Grams man. Get Cinnamon Toast Crunch so out of my people face. people should know that was the original fa- match. It was Golden Grams, but you didn't feel strongly about Cinnamon Toast Crunch. No, no, no. The original match we were going to do was Fruit Loops versus Golden Grams. Yeah, and, then we and didn't I think, think you would have had a better chance with Golden Grams. I don't know, man. The, 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 a lot of the comments are saying I got a shot here. I can't believe Fruit Loops is winning. Them shits oh. taste like processed, and the milk doesn't even slap at the end. And that Cocoa Bird would be Toucan Sands' ass any day of the week. <laughs> Yeah, dude. What, what cocoa bird? There's a cocoa. I forgot the cocoa pebble. Sometimes is a cocoa no, bird don't. like mascot. Oh, really? So like they're a, just ripping. I forgot. Off of Fruit Loops. No. How dare they put no, a bird on their box? A chocolate bird. A chocolate bird. <laughs> they had the Flintstones. Mar- Fred Flintstones not good enough. Barney Rubble's not good enough. They had to go get a bird. I I would vote that as the best comment. So Fruit far. Loops are the cool ant of the family, full of vibrant colors and awesome taste. Cocoa Pebbles, they are that weird uncle in the corner at your family get together, <laughs> bland and not full of much excitement. I I'm with you, Delaney. All right, Cocoa Pebbles are for Neanderthals. <laughs> That's why they have the Flintstones advertising Fruit Loops are better by a mile and added bonus track. They don't look like rat droppings. That's what I said. They, I said they right. look like bird shit. She said rat shit. The point, though, the, the common connection is shit. Uh, keep scrolling, Pimp, if you don't mind. I'd rather put cardboard in milk instead of eating Fruit Loops. It requires more effort to eat Fruit Loops. By the time I'm almost done with them, it's mush. Toucan Sam can... Off, literally oh. a mood, a food made for birds. That's uh, our well, winning no, no, no. comment scroll so down, far. Scroll up. Let me see who that said. That no, not Kevin. Hey, listen, Kevin. By the way, he has the stones to say that they they turn to mush as soon as you put them in milk. He, he completely discredited. That's my completely discredited. That's my favorite There's comment. There's not so another cereal that comes as close to the pebbles as getting mushy in milk. I mean, give me a break. You Fruit can't... circles don't turn your milk to chocolate milk. Cocoa pebbles over everything. Nah, this is where we're going to land, okay? It's chocolate versus fruit. That's where we're going to land. Right. And, 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 and I I'll can't take believe, chocolate over fruit. I can't believe this many people don't care or like I'll take chocolate over fruit. I don't mess. like a straight fruit cereal, which is why I like love cocoa. I mean, sorry, Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries because it's fruit mixed with a, with a with a more uh, uh, earthy flavor. I love that everyone's like you get chocolate uh, milk you at know, the end of pebbles, but they're not they're not counting the beautiful cocoa pebbles fruit milk that you get at the end of Fruit Loops. Now, don't give me any of that chocolate milk shit because Fruit Loops gives you a sweet, colorful milk with little specks of delicious cereal. So shut. The- just All right, that's a great. That, that's a great comment, a- Amity. Uh, oh, scroll up a little bit. She says also chocolate in the morning is a sin to a man, and one should be ashamed to pick such over a fruity, delicious bowl of heaven first thing in the morning. My brother prefers cocoa pebbles to Fruit Loops, and he is a failure to my family and society. <laughs> All, right. All right, Amity wins. Amity's our best comment. Follow Amity. At Amity E. Hansen, that's A-M-I-T-Y-E-H-A-N-S-E-N on Twitter. Amity wins our best comment. 
Uh, and she gets a, uh, or he, he, she, whatever, uh, they get a, uh, a retweet. Uh, I, I couldn't see the thumbnail. So, uh, but anyway, whoever, whoever you are, Amity, thank you. That was a great comment. All right. Ready to go to the phone? Uh, let's see who wins here. I can't believe I spelled 15,000 votes. I think we got more than that, but it's like, see, that's when he pulled that page up. We're going to have way more than that. I can't believe I spoke. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> oh, oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. Whoa. A 1% difference. Wow, dude. Whoa. That's way closer than I thought I it was going to be. I had no idea it was going to be that close. Me neither. Damn. I, I thought Fruit Loops was going to take it. Like- I thought Fruit Loops is arguably a top five cereal of all time. And if anything, Cocoa Pebbles wasn't as popular as Fruity Pebbles. I am in shock, actually. I give you, I tip my hat to you because Cocoa Pebbles, I thought was going to be dominated. 1% is nearly as close as we can get to a, to a tie. That That's is fun. wild. That said, you did win. By a percentage, and I'll take that because I've been, I've been getting cream lately. Who would have thought that this could be a potential contender later for a rematch? I Not never me. would have guessed that, honestly. And I met my argument 100%. But I was like, I'm going to get creamed. Everybody loves Fruit Loops, Loops. It's classic, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to get creamed with the cartoon cereal I'm going with. But I even do, but I do like it better. I can't believe it's this close. Holy shit. That's wild. All I, right. I, uh, well. Wow, I almost lost that. Imagine I lost with Fruit Loops. That would have been. That was I close. bet you because I didn't spell it F-R-O-O-T. Right. I apologize. We don't good. need, please, please don't send letters. We're off to a good start today. Folks, that's our show. Yeah, yeah baby. Hey, you got to say the I thing. I still love you, babe. I still love you. <laughs> <laughs> I still love you. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll be back with new episodes. Uh, well, let's not even say because these might air out of order or whatever. So, But uh, we'll be back. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing to the No Pressure Network. Thank you for following Taste Buds. Keep leaving the comments. Keep leaving the reviews. Keep downloading the audio podcast. It's all free wherever you get your stuff. We love you. We thank you. Goodbye. Taste buds, they come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste buds.